Hello friends, today we are going to learn the algorithm for finding out longest common subsequence and length of that subsequence. So let's see some examples first. First we will see some simple examples and then we will go for a complex one. So this is the example. This is the string 1 and this is string 2 and we have to find the longest common subsequence between these two strings. Now let's start. First character is A. Just look for A in the second string. A is not there. B. Yes, B is there. C. Yes, C is there. E. Uh, D. D is not there. E. E is there. F. Yes, it is there. So, this is the longest common subsequence in this string. B, C, E, F. Let's go for the next example. B, it is not there. E, yes, it is there. F, not there. G, not there. P, yes. P is there. Q, yes. Q is there. So, the longest common subsequence is E, P, Q. So, the third example, you can see it is the same example as the first example. These two examples are same. But I will solve this example again because I want to tell one important point. <clears throat> so, let's match A. It's not there. B, yes. B is matched. Now, C. Suppose C is present here, means this string is P, C, Q, B, R, C, E, U, F. So, can you match this C with this C? The answer is no, because you always have to match the character of the first string, that is this C, with the character of the second string, which is ahead of this pointer. This red marker is the pointer, the last matched character. So you always have to match C with the character ahead of this pointer. This is because if you match this C with this C, then that is a backward matching. Means you are not maintaining the relative positions of the characters. So a subsequence is always in order. So you have to maintain the relative positions. So C ahead of this pointer. C then D it's not there. E F yes it is there. So the substring is B C E F. So this is the longest common subsequence. Now let's go for the third example. In this example I want to tell you that there can be more than one subsequence. There can be more than one subsequences but we have to find the longest common subsequence. So let's see the example. B Let's match it. Yes, it is matched. Q. Q is not there. D. Yes, it is matched. R. R is not there. C. Yes, C is there. But we cannot match it because we always have to look for C ahead of this pointer. So, C is not there. V is not there. E. Yes, F, yes, G, yes, H, yes. So the longest common, so the subsequence is B, D, E, F, G, H. Now, we were having a problem here. We could not match C because 
it was not in the relative order so what prevented us from matching this c with this c so we can say that d prevented us d because when we matched this d with this d this pointer moved ahead of this c which is why we could not match for example if d was here and it was not here then we could match d here and then we could have matched c also but as d is here we could not match it now what will happen if we skip this d means we don't match this d and we prefer matching of c so let's do that b is matched then c is matched we have skipped d c is matched then v is matched then e is matched f is matched g is matched and h is matched so what is the longest common subsequence b c v e f g h so these are the two common subsequences which we got here now let's see so if we you want to find out just common subsequences then you can find out this also like only e f g h is also a common subsequence as these are the subsets of these subsequences in that way there are many subsequences our algorithm takes care of all those subsequences here just for example i am taking the uh, uh, subsequences which can be a uh, claim for the longest common subsequence so let's calculate the length 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 obviously this is our answer that is b c v e f g h so this is the longest common subsequence now in our algorithm you don't need to worry about skipping the characters or always checking ahead of the pointer because our algorithm takes care of that in a different manner now i will explain you the algorithm and just remember that you don't need to worry about this just it is okay if you forget this i will explain you the algorithm then you will find it the easiest so now let's see the algorithm this is the first string and this is the second string the first column and this first row contains all the zeros this represents that either one of the string is empty or both strings are empty in that case obviously the length of the longest common subsequence will be zero now let's go to a so let's match a with b they don't match so the length is zero then a with q zero a with d is zero in this way all will be zero because a is not present here now let's move ahead to b yes b matches with b so here the first point of algor our algorithm so when a character matches then take the previous diagonal element that is this number 0 plus 1 1 is the length of the character that matches means one character b has matched now b with q they don't match so the second point of the algorithm when characters don't match then if this is the cell then take maximum between the above cell and the left cell 
that is maximum of 0 and 1. So that is 1. B don't match with D. So maximum of 0 and 1. That is 1. B with R. So maximum of 0 and 1 is 1. B doesn't match with C. So maximum of 0 and 1. So that is 1. In this way, every cell will be 1. Now C, C doesn't match with B, so maximum of these two cells, so that is 1, C doesn't match with Q, so maximum of these two cells is 1, C with D, max of these two cells is 1, max of these two cells 1. Now C matches with C here. So, according to the first point of our algorithm, take the diagonal element and add 1 to it. Now, C with V, so they don't match, so maximum of 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2, so maximum of 1 and 2, that is 2. Maximum of this and this is 2, 1 and 2 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 is 2. I have taken the maximums in this 4 cell because C doesn't match with any of them. Now for V, with B they don't match. So max of 1 and 0 is 1. C with Q, 1 and 1. C with D, max of 1 and 1 is 1. So in the same way, this is 1, then max of 2 and 1, so that is 2. Then V with V, now this matches here. So take the diagonal element 2 plus 1. Now V with E, they don't match, so max of this is 3, max of this is 3, max of this is 3, max of this is 3. Now D with B, max of this is 1, max of this is 1, D with D, that matches, so take the diagonal element 1 plus 1. Then D with R, they don't match, so max of this and this, then max of this, this. Max of this and this is 3, 3, 3, 3, and 3. Now E. <coughs> so, max of this and this. So, where does E matches? E directly matches here. So, till that you have to take max. So, 2, 2, 2, 3. Now, E with E matches, so take the diagonal element 3 plus 1. Now, E with F doesn't match, so max of this and this is 4. Max 4. Now, F. F with B doesn't match, so max of this and this is 1. F with Q, max of this and this is 1. F doesn't, F matches directly here. So till that you have to take max. 2, 2, 2, 3, 4. Now here, take the diagonal element. 4 plus 1. Now F doesn't match with G. So max of this and this is 5. And this is 5. G, max of G doesn't match with B, so max of 1 and 0 is 1. G directly matches here, so till that just take max 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now, as this matches, 5 plus 1, 1.
and the max of this and this is 6 that is 5 plus 1 now take h directly matches here so take all the max 1 2 2 2 2 here it is 1 then 3 and 2 is 3 4 and 3 is 4 5 and 4 is 5 6 and 5 is 6 6 and now as this matches take the diagonal element so 6 plus 1 so the final length of the longest common subsequence is 7 so this is the way we find the length of longest common subsequence now is the time to find the longest common subsequence means that string so let's find out that subsequence so start from the end here take all the elements where this arrow points so this is the element h just note down that element h then g go with these arrows then f then e no you should not take this cell you should not consider this cell because the arrow is not pointing here the arrow is pointing here and we have already taken e so here i want to make that point that you should take element where the arrow is pointing so now from this cell to this cell there is a link but we are missing the link from this cell so just wait for a moment and think from where this 3 has come as d did not match with v we had taken max of this and this so max of this and this was 3 and it came here so this means that this 3 came from this cell so go in that direction so in this cell this arrow is pointing so take this element v so till now we have this subsequence now go with the link c here r so you should not take r because no arrow is pointing here so we have missed means we have missed the link from here so now wait for a moment and think from where this one has come so this one has come from max of this and this that is this then this one has come from max of this and this and this one has come from max of this cell and this cell so and this cell is pointed by one arrow so you should take this element b so this is our longest common subsequence so coming to the program i will explain you the formula so suppose this is string 1 this is string 2 and this is our matrix t so here here are two for loops and uh, i tra traces the row j traces the column if ith character of string 1 is equal to jth character of string 2 this means this cell here c matches with c so what we do we take 2 plus 1 so this is what we have mentioned here so t of i j is equal to t of i minus 1 j minus 1 plus 1 else we take max of we take max of these two cells that is t of i minus 1 j and t of i j minus 1 so this is how we populate the matrix and the time complexity for the code is o of n square due to these two for loops so this is for longest common subsequence. Thank you.